Okay, folks, look, don't skip. Listen to this. I got a twofer for you, right? Listen, I'm gonna show you how to make this budget-friendly meal, and guess what? We finna do it in 30 minutes. Let's get it. Give me about a medium flame. I hope you guys can see that. Let me put something dark. That's what I say when I say medium, right? Everybody's medium is gonna be different. I'm gonna let that heat up. I'm gonna make myself some room. And as I mentioned in the, you know, intro, check this out. When I tell you it can be made, you know, in 30 minutes, that's the honest to goodness truth, right? So just gonna cut this down. Let's get this going. Okay, so we got a little heat. Go ahead and drop this in here. Oh, and I want to tell you guys, listen, when I make this, I always talk about using 80-20. This right here is 937. You know what I mean? We don't want to do no drainage. You know what I mean? Get away from the oil. So, and then three, you guys gonna check it out. Listen to the sizzle. One, two, three. Okay, so look, now I want you guys to pay attention right here. This is what I use to do all my breakup and everything. And then if you guys are using them nonstick pans or for me, the ceramic coating, I don't want to like tear it up, right? So I use one of these, you know, plastic or neoprene. I don't know what this is made out of, but I can tell you this, it doesn't scratch. Now, you see how it's shiny? This came from a follower. They told me if you just spray it with a little pan, it'll help keep the, you know, meat from sticking. So let's find out. Now, I didn't put no oil in here or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Uh, I know I went with a leaner type of meat, you know, but right now I'm looking at it. I see a little bit in there. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's much better. It usually cakes up on the inside. Hey, whoever that was, I'm so sorry I didn't write your name down. <laughs> you know what I mean? But thank you for the pro tip. You know what, I want to say this, for, especially for those who've been following me, know I get some kind of satisfaction about, you know, pressing my own garlic, right? So somebody had bought me, you know, minced garlic like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I told you guys, let me just use it up because I don't want to waste anything. But once I use this up, look like this is it right here. We back to pressing our own, you know, garlic and mincing it, you know? Now we're getting ready to add in our shallot. Now I use the whole shallot uh, just from making this. I used to do it with a half, but love the flavor. Uh, just trust me, you know what I mean? For those of you guys that feel like maybe that's a little bit too much, start with a half, but you gotta be able to trust some of your favorite, uh, you know, chefs. But again, we do do everything, you know, to our own liking, right? There it is. This the W sauce for those of you guys be asking. You know what I mean? I don't even try to uh, pronounce it or chop it up. So what you want to do is you want to put like about a tablespoon of this in here, right? Listen, this right here, along with the shallot, the garlic, you know what I mean? And then we're going to put some other flavors in here. It's the combination of them all. That's what it's about when you're cooking, folks. You know what I mean? It's not about like, I see a lot of people, they out here, they put a lot of, a, a lot of, something in there and that becomes the flavor but for me the way i cook it's the combination of everything that you know ends up with a great result now we did that now i'm gonna add some salt i'm gonna give this a couple of generous pinches just just because i know we started there and just notice i like to like stir you know as i go you know what i mean uh just talking to other chefs they all put it in here I guess everybody has a method to their own madness, but this is the way I like to do it, right? And then, you know, when it comes to the pepper, right? So I want y'all to pay attention right here. I should do this the whole time, just to let you know that I turn this, you know what I mean? I'm gonna give you a base, but pepper takes on a whole different taste, you know, once it hits that heat, right? So just add some pepper, add as much as you like. So now we got our pepper, our salt mixed in here, right? Now I'm getting ready to add my Italian seasoning, right? Actually, looking at this, this would be about right. Right, so listen, we wanna have flavor. Now, you wanna go ahead and start adding, you know, your liquids, right? And I say it that way, because we know we got broth, you know, hanging out. You guys wanna get yourself like a, uh, I don't like mine to be a little bit watery, so I'm not gonna like put the can in, under the, the sink and get myself no water and stir it up. Just try to get it all out. Get yourself like a small spatula. As I stir this around, what I'm trying to do now is just stir it around and mix it. If you really look inside of here, look with the chunks, look. This look like the base, the start ba starting base of like a nice spaghetti, huh? You guys use it how you want to use it. You know what I mean? Uh, I just gave you a hint, right? So now I'm getting ready to get under here because now we have it, you know, a little bit of liquid in the inside. I'm turning up my heat. Oh, about three quarters of the way, like a a medium high, right? The reason I do that, because it's gonna start cooling, right? So now we add this, and we gonna wanna bring this up to a boil. We wanna get this 
nice and hot. Now don't forget we got pasta, right? So check it out. This is what makes this so cool. Without just, it's only like a few little cuts, but I'm telling you, this is really actually, it's done under 30 minutes. All right, so what we wanna do here is we wanna come up to this simmer, right? Actually, I had said a boil, but you, this is what I want. And by using that leaner, you know, ground beef, Oh, I should have said this already. Now, you know you can go ahead and use, uh, you know you can use ground turkey. You can even use ground chicken, right? I'm gonna go ahead and put two of them in here, you know? So we'll just get this in here like this. Let those like hydrate a little bit, but that's what you want. Now notice I got myself a, you know, spaster, right? See how I can take this around? I just say this for all my new cooks, you know what I mean? We gotta get the right tools. And these are so inexpensive. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cover this. Now that we had a nice little simmer, cover this, we're just gonna go about, you know, like eight to 10 minutes. After that, check a look over here. This right here is a time saver, right? This recipe, you know why? Because we're gonna put these in just like this, and they're gonna cook and absorb everything, and this is gonna be fire, folks. Now, I, earlier I said this is like a, what did I say? It's a budget friendly, those are facts. And it's a one pot meal. Hey, that makes it a threefer. All right, so now put this over here. Grab my spatula. Look at this right here. This is what you want. Look, this didn't break up. Remember it was dry, but when you put it in there, it kind of like rehydrates. That's what I meant when I said that, y'all. All right, so bring this around. Now we're gonna put in one pound. Now, I don't know how you guys store yours, you know what I mean? I do it like this just for the, it looks nice. It's a better uh, footprint inside of my pantry, right? So if you have something like this, you're trying to figure like, how do I know what was in the box, blah, blah, blah. I just measured it. I know to up to here is about, about one pound. So you just take it like this. Right? And then this is what you want to do. You just want to make sure everything is coated because we're going to put that top back on here we're going to go for about i guess 12 to about 15 minutes right so i'm gonna wait till this comes back up to temp let me check it and when i say come back up to temp i just want to see it simmering right i'm gonna push these bay leaves down a little bit now we're gonna let them get soft swell up and work. It's been about 16 minutes because the timer went off. I got to run in my mouth, blah, 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 right? So look, I'm gonna take this off like this. I want you guys to pay attention. Look at this right here. You can feel the, oh man, you can feel this right here and know it ain't just right. You don't want them like super, super soft. You don't want to like overcook them. There go my bay leaf. I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm gonna start leaving my bay leaf in there. Whoever the lucky person to get that bay leaf, let them eat, right? So now I'm gonna turn this fire off. Oh yeah. Look at that, folks. Man, my mouth is watering right now as we speak. Now I'm gonna tell you guys about a couple of different level ups, right? We already got the heat in there. I got some shredded uh, cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some of this in here right now. And I got like a little bit of a, a level up even more for this, right? So I just add it in here like this. We let that heat just let everything, you know, get all that cheese to melt. That's up to y'all. Y'all put as much in here as you want to, but I got something else to add. So after the cheese, now listen, if you want to make it a little bit on the creamy side, look, we got a little sour cream to add, right? I'll just add this right here. Now I want you guys to talk to me down in the comment section below and tell me how many of y'all do that. But this right here should be opening your eyes to other dishes that you make. And I can say this too, this is probably like a couple of steps away from being a chili mac. I can just add a couple of more ingredients to this and we can go from there. All right, so now you know what we gotta do. But you see that right there? I'm gonna go ahead and just put it like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just gonna put some of this in here like that. Let me just put it over there. Mm -hmm. This right here. You wanna talk about stick to your ribs, warm you up, that'll do it right there. Now, got me a little garnish. Hit this with just a little bit of green onion on the top. I mean, that's good right there. If you guys want to dust it with a little cheese, you can do that. Listen, I'm not finna over talk and I'm finna get right into this, folks. You see? Mm, mm, mm. Cheers, y'all.
So check this out. It's a one pot meal. It's budget friendly and you can make it in less than 30 minutes. Check it out. Goulash. I'm out. Peace.